Thank you all so much for coming out. Welcome to the UFC 302 press conference here in Newark, New Jersey. Jose has the first question. Start with the champion, Islam Mahachev. Wait, here in the back. Obviously, at media day. Go ahead, Jose. Islam, at media day, you know, you said that you expected to face Dustin at some point in your career, but looking at where Dustin is in his career, where does he rank in terms of the, your past opponents that you faced? Way back here, straight. What's up, guys? You know, honestly, I think I am uh, the best fighter in the world right now. That's why it's going to be a bad day for Dustin. He has problem with the wrestlers always, and I will give him the problem. At media day, Dustin said all he has to do is touch you, and you'll go down. But he's obviously also talked about his guillotine. So what are you expecting from Dustin on Saturday? Of course, I respect him, but when he faced be some high level fighters listen, who have, listen to you who have box with me. good wrestling and grappling, he always have problem. If not me, Khabib or Oliveira, he can be champion. I feel bad for him. But when he meets some good wrestlers and grapplers, he have always same problem. He can look listen, listen. Thank you. Thank you guys. Question for Dustin. Question for Dustin in the back right here. Obviously, you fought for the interim title, the undisputed title, the BMF title. Now you're going to fight who, someone who he's declared himself the best fighter in the world. How is this fight week been compared to those other title fights? It's not about revenge. It's about getting ahead, beating the number one pound, pound fighter, becoming the undisputed world champion. That's what this is about. It's writing this story the right way. He declared himself the best fighter in the world. Do you believe that he is the best fighter in the world right now? We're going to find out Saturday, but... Pound for pound number one, current world champion. Seems like it to me, but I'm going to find out. I'll be the judge of that. And last one for me. On media day, you, you described your style as kill or be killed in there. Do you think that Islam has that trait of him, that he can make this a kill or be killed fight? He definitely has the, the finisher, right? He's been out there finishing guys, submitting guys, knocking guys out. This fight isn't going to the distance. This isn't going to be a 25-minute fight. One of us is going down hard Saturday night. And... It'll be my pleasure to walk out there and find out. Dustin, there's a lot of talk about what Saturday night could mean for your career, about whether you'll stay in the sport or maybe move on to other things. What does it mean to you have the fans support you in this way, considering what could happen on Saturday night, win the title or walk off into the sunset? Man, I appreciate it so much, New Jersey. Uh, it's been a long road. If you've been a fan of mixed martial arts for a long time, you've got to see this story unfold from Fightville, Climbing my way up title shots to here headlining another card in New Jersey. I mean, you're part of the journey with me, man. Thank you. Thank you all. For Islam, Islam, Dustin often talks about jumping for the ghillie, jumping for the ghillie. Any part of you tempted to try and beat him with a guillotine on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to because his guillotine always looking bad, you know. And he will make guillotine like some joke about always if about guillotine. I have to show him how to do right. Listen, the Gilly Goose gang ain't taking applications. Question for Sean Strickland. Sean, you're not afraid of a war. We saw that in your last fight against the champion. Do you think Paulo's the kind of guy who can give you a war, or does your skill set mean you could win quite comfortably this weekend? You know, I don't know how much fucking secret juice Paulo has. But that only shot, the only shot you got, man, you better get fucking lucky. You better hope the God's in your favor. Because I'm going to fucking beat your fucking dick into the fucking dirt. But don't worry, I ain't going to fuck you like Izzy did. I got you, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. After fight, I will get some secret juice for you. After fight, not before. 
After fight, I will give some secrets just for you, for you change your looking. Hey, Faxel, I like Costa. He's a funny motherfucker, dude. I think we all like Costa. We're gonna fucking bleed for you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna sacrifice some fucking brain cells for you guys. I fucking love you guys. For America. We're a little close to New York. We're a little close to New York. So I hope none of you guys paid off any hookers. We're a little bit close. We're not only for hook- America, not only for America, for the, for the whole crowd. You know, they have people from around the world here. So it's for New Jersey. New Jersey has a crazy energy. This is unbelievable good, you know. When we feel how excited you guys are right here, you can imagine it, how, how good it's going to be this on Saturday. So make, you, make me so like, excited, you know, to step in the cage against that motherfucker over here and bring a great fight. I, I'm pretty sure he's trained, he trained a lot and I train a lot too to bring a great show for you, everyone. Sean, any part of you tempted to drink Paulo's secret juice? Man, I don't fucking know. You sauna. Nah, man, but I'm ready to fucking fight that man, dude. We're ready to fucking go out there and die for you fucking guys, you know? These are always the fun fights when you just want to go out there and fucking shorten a man's life, and I think he feels the same way, so... We're gonna fucking go out there and fucking bleed for you motherfuckers. Question for Paulo Costa. Uh, Paulo, Sean said yesterday that you can't win this fight, he's better than you everywhere, and you need to land something lucky. What do you think of that, and where are you better than this guy? No, he, of course he's not, you know, I have a, a more r- well-rounded fight, you know, I have a kicks, I have, a, you know, uh, I, I can't even bring this fight for, for the ground, and uh, I think he's more basic. He's very good on what, what he does, jab, straight, you know, move forward, but I have my, my tools on my box, and I go show you everyone on Saturday. And for Dustin Poirier, Dustin, you said yesterday, this is 25 minutes to finish the story. In your perfect world, how do you do that? Is it a knockout, a submission, or do you beat him dominantly over five rounds? I knock him out Saturday night. I knock him out And what about you, Islam? What would be your perfect way to defend this title and beat Dustin Poirier? Yeah, how, you want, how he won't knock him out, or he... Last month, he talking about finish his career, like, how he want to beat me if he focus to finish his career. I feel bad about him. Dustin, just, do you have a response to that or a reaction to him saying I, that? I didn't really get it. I didn't hear what he said. He said he feels bad that you're kind of talking about retirement. This is his last chance. This is his, like, maybe last fight. This is not focus for the fight. I'm going to pry that belt out of your hands, bro, Saturday night. And just for one, for you, John Anik, uh, you've called a lot of amazing moments in your career, seen a lot. Where would Dustin, finishing the story, rank in some of the all-time moments you've called? Well, I said going into his fight against Benoit Saint-Denis that if there was any legacy on paper in the UFC that did not need an undisputed championship, it's his, right? So he's a Hall of Famer already. I'm not sure he needs it. It would be the ultimate capstone, and uh, I don't care what the betting odds say. I don't think there are a lot of people that want to put any... uh, doubt in front of this man. We'll see what happens Saturday night. Question right over here for Sean Strickland. Sean, you spoke to me yesterday. You built yourself back up a few years ago and you climbed from the bottom to the top of the totem pole when you defeated Israel Adesanya over there in Australia. What will your rise to the top look like this time again? And do you believe that it will start this Saturday? You know, guys, the whole world knows that I beat Dreykus. I went to fucking Canada, and I got fucking robbed in that dirty fucking country. Not the people, but the government. I think Justin Trudeau's little fucking baby nuts infected the judge somehow, because I got fucked. I'm going to beat Costa, and I'm going to win that fucking belt back. But... I gotta Will make not. this fucking guy bleed first. Hey, Sean, I agree with you on a, a lot of stuff, but I don't agree with that. You, don't, you will, be not, you will not be beat me to start today. And, uh, yeah. Hey, your English is not bad, but anyways, you guys, 
They all ask me the same shit, bro, but I want to fucking tell you guys something, man. Finally, Brazilian Through fighters guys, try to speak English. It's respect, man. Through you guys, man, I've been such a better fucking person, bro. Making more money, living right, man. I'm telling you, motherfuckers, I am so grateful for all my fans. And it gave me this fucking life, dude. That's it. That's it. Yes. And the least I can do is go out there and try to fucking bleed for you guys. So thank you. You know, I, lo I love this guy. I even, I even can say that. I love this guy because even I'm going to fight his side today, but he, he looks for the better for, for his country, for his people right here. You, you know, I know that. But I need to say, I'm here not for Americans. I'm here for all Latin Americans, guys, as well, you know, and Mexicans. Has some Mexicans over here. I'm here to fight for Americans. Hey, we're Latin still waiting America. to build the wall. Hey, Calm sure, down, I'm Costa. Shut <laughs> up, I'm talking. And you know, you know nothing about Secret Juice. You know why? Why? Secret Juice is something that only me have. Look at this. You know, never look like that. Hey, Sean, I think you need a wife on your life. Bro, this guy is wearing this white shirt for the whole week. You, you, need, you need a wife, you know. I don't know if you, you are married already or not, but maybe a girlfriend is gonna, gonna help you a lot. Let me tell you, Costa, one of the greatest accomplishments a man could do is get married and have a family. Sadly, I'm not there yet, dude, but maybe one day, man, maybe one day. But I'll tell you what, Costa. I can't fucking wait to fucking make that face a little ugly, dude. I can't fucking wait, dude. I can't fucking wait. You, you not, bro. You, you not. And one more question for you, John Anik. Obviously, as, as exciting as the main event is, this co-main right here is something special, too. I wanted to get your thoughts. Which fighter, Sean Strickland, Paulo Costa, has more to gain in this fight? Well, Sean Strickland's the number one middleweight contender. He probably could have waited and fought for the title. Paulo Costa's trying to take that number one ranking. So I do think, and I've said this to Sean, I think there's more to gain for Paulo Costa. But I think that's the fight of the night. 25 minutes if need be. I can't fucking wait. I'm going to get his place. I'm going to get his number. I'm going to be the number one contender after beat him. Okay. Dustin, we could go dig. We could go dig Luke Rockhold up out of the fucking grave so you can look good again. I will. I will be here and be the number one. Dustin, over here. There's a lot of talk about legacy fights, and you've talked about what it would mean for you to, to finally hold gold, gold. But if it doesn't happen, with all you've achieved inside the cage, outside of the cage, will you be satisfied, or is this really the fight that will determine whether you're satisfied with your career? I'm not sure, man. I've been working on my mindset and working on being content with my career. But i got to get through Saturday night first and then address it. Then for Islam... Um, yesterday. Justin, why are you so nervous, man? Relax, enjoy, man. <laughs> Let's have fun. What's this dude talking about? In Islam, yesterday at Media Day, you told us that you don't think Dustin or his coaches believe that he can beat you. What did you see or pick up on or hear from him that made you say that? Man, I say truth. He always look good when he fight with some striking guys like you should you should Omar coaches and or Chandler or someone like this, you know, who always focus to the striking. But when he meet with some wrestlers, he always have trouble. That's why he don't believe. He should listen to his coaches and box like they're telling him to. Do that, Islam. Let's box. This is not boxing. This is MMA, man. Well, you're going to sleep like it's boxing. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, question for Islam. If you not tap, you will sleep. <laughs> uh, John Bernard, KO Sports. Question for Islam. Islam, against both of your fights against Alex Zander Volkanovsky and with this fight against Dustin Poirier, it seems like everybody online wants to see the underdog win. What's it like? having to be the bad guy and upset everyone. Man, I don't care who is going to be next to me, Dustin, Wolk, or someone else. I will be champion many, many more years. And one more for Sean Strickland. Sean, your last two fights in the UFC have been in Australia and Canada. Do you think Paula Costa can handle a Sean Strickland and a home crowd here in New Jersey? 
bro, man. I'm always ready to fucking die for what I want, man. But I'll tell you what, dude, being in front of an American fucking crowd with my fucking people, man. We got to work on the gun laws here, you guys. We're kind of in a communist fucking state. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Fucking love you guys. USA. 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 My fucking people. But man, I'm fucking ready, dude. I'm fucking ready, dude. I always wear the American flag when I fight, and I can't wait to represent you guys. Let's fucking get it done. Hello. Hello. My question is for Islam Mahachev, а теперь по-русски Islam. Как тебе встреча и удивляет ли тебя этот свист или наоборот мотивирует? Просто к ним приехал лучший боец планеты. А где гостеприимство? Анчи, я уже привык. Я дрался в Австралии, я дрался в других странах. Ничего страшного. Приедем, позовем их в Россию, и там их встретим получше. Hey, this is a question for Islam. Islam, you're the best fighter on the planet. How do you feel about this not so welcome here in America? And the answer is, it doesn't matter. I fought all over the place. I fought in Australia, and I, I'm used to people booing. But it's okay. We'll call them to Russia, and we'll show them what a real Russian welcome is like. Question for Dustin Poye. Uh, Islam Mahachev sort of took a shot at you on Embedded. He said if he gets the win this weekend, he doesn't want a ruby on his belt. He wants a diamond. What's your response to that? I want the whole fucking belt, man. That's what I'm going to say. And then a uh, question for both Sean Strickland and Paulo Costa. You guys like to have fun on social media. Sean, you even said, I can't take Paulo serious. So when does it get serious between the two of you guys? He's he going to take me serious after today. He's going to take me Well, it's course. hard. He's training. He's, training. he's training hard. Me as well, you know. He, he's my guy. He's a former champ. He's, he's not for, for one reason, because he's smart, you know. And uh, he knows uh, how dangerous I am. And uh, I know how dangerous he is. He is. As well, you know. So I'm here for the for for the entertainment, guys. You know, Costas, he's done more trolling than fighting, but the man can fucking fight. He can hit hard occasionally, and we're gonna have a fucking war, man. I'm, I take him serious, and you know, just because you know we can laugh and joke doesn't mean we're not gonna get in that cage and try to fucking kill each other, man. If if one of us. If one of us gets the first confirmed kill in the UFC, man, I expect one of us to get a fucking bonus from it, you know? So I make no mistake that we laugh and joke, but come Saturday, it's fucking to the death. Question for Islam. Everyone on the internet yesterday diagnosed you with a staph infection. Are you 100% healthy coming into the fight because Dustin took care of business with Benoit with the staph infection? Don't worry, guys. I have very well training camp. Uh, nothing bother me, and I will be ready 100% Saturday night. Another question for Sean. Given all goes well for you, Sean Strickland, are you open to a quick turnaround and a main event in Perth, Australia against Strakers for the rematch? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Let's do it. All that. After I beat fucking Costa, send it my way. We'll get it fucking done, dude. You, you know the shit thing is, man, he knows he lost. He wants the fucking rematch, and you know, fucking let's get it done. Let's get it done. Do the fucking right thing. We'll welcome you back to Australia. I got to beat this man. I'm going to beat this man. Then we'll fucking move on to what's next. All right, Newark, just want to say can't thank you all enough. It means so much to these athletes for you guys to come out and show this type of support. You guys are unbelievable. We're going to clear the stage and stare these athletes down. We'll see you for the ceremonials tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern time.